Hello everyone and welcome to Rudy's Retro Intel. On today's show we'll be looking at this K-Pro 2 computer and making some modifications as I've mentioned in the previous video. We're going to be adding this GoTech drive for the drive 0 or drive A and we will be adding this box which is a drawer for the uh, empty slot. So let's get uh, started, peek inside, poke around and make this thing work. So in order to get the GoTech drive installed on the K-Pro, we have to remove the board, which is uh, several screws along the back for the serial parallel port, uh, the mounting uh, screws, unhook the power, then get some hex screws uh, out of the floppy drive to pull that out, and uh, the power. So I'm going to do that right now. We'll fast forward the video a bit so you're not sitting here bored watching me do all this work. So let's get to it. Now with the main bore removed, we have to then pull out the screws on the side. They're a bit tricky because the tube is right here. Um, this machine's been powered off for a while, a few, actually a few days, so I'm not worried about high voltages, but if you are doing this, make sure you discharge the monitor. There's lots of videos on showing how to do that, or leave it off for a few days, that way you know for sure it's discharging. You can actually put your hands in here. So let's get to that now. Alright, I've installed the the drive, the drive box. This just pulls out. And like I said before, you put your stuff in there, close it up, push it in, and it looks kind of nice. So now the next part of the of the work would be to ensure the board is all plugged back in and we turn it on, make sure the GoTech is working, and make sure this door is and drawer drawer is working. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are with the final setup of the K-Pro computer. It is uh, now fully assembled. The GoTech drive was reversed. I had to flip it over because the screen was upside down. So the knob is on the right and uh, the buttons there also. I'm sorry, the knob is on the left with the buttons here also on the left and the USB key and the screen. So with this setup now, we can just open up the drawer here and pull out our USB key and plug this in like so and turn it on. Now it will boot up off of the USB key and as we can see on the on the monitor that it is up and running already. So let's do a directory here. And we can see that it's up and running. I'm going to put a floppy disk inside. This is a another uh, CPM boot disk I created with Kermit Terminal. And uh, the Kermit Terminal is great because it allows us to copy files to and from the cable if we wanted to. And uh, maybe I'll put a video on that later how to copy files to and from the serial port. So let's go to the B drive. 
a directory on that. And there we have it. Well, that's it for today's show. We've installed the GoTech drive, we removed the uh, the A drive, we put the uh, little drawer in it to hold, <coughs> excuse me, to hold the USB key and other stuff like tools or whatever you want to put in there. And it's nicely packed so you can just take it and go and not lose anything. If you'd like to see uh, additional videos on the K-Pro, for example, to put a reset button or the turbo switch on it, please let me know in the comments. And uh, I could also do a video on showing you how you can use the Kermit program on your PC and on the K-Pro to transfer files over the serial port. Again, let me know that, about that in the comments. Thank you everyone for uh, all my subscribers and thank you for viewers like you. So please like, share, and subscribe and hope we'll see you next time. Take care.